Good morning, folks. We've seen a good amount of surface activity on our star, but it is not solar flaring. We've got a handful of significant plasma filaments on the sun. Some are small, some are much larger, but all having in common that they will be in Earth-facing position this week if they do not destabilize beforehand. How about this? After no gamma ray bursts for 11 days, we've now seen four in the last four days, including last night's double tap. That's two more on top of the two we've already seen. Three days of solar wind here. The coronal hole stream crested and is now waning. With it, the electrons recover. There is less disruptive energy in Earth systems, and our magnetic shield is recovering from the storm and instability. The sunspot situation is about to improve. The big Earth-facing group might actually have a Delta candidate at the lead of that group. The incoming spots behind that could use some growth, but the abnormal shape gives pause. And you can't see them just yet, but we've got quite a bit more coming over the limb soon. As the southern coronal hole departs, you can likely spot the dark patch becoming darker on the north. This enhances an earthquake watch that was set in motion by tonight's full moon and Jupiter in almost perfect solar opposition. Been talking about that a while. Here we go in Argentina where strong seismic signals began moments after yesterday's news was posted. USGS has settled on magnitude 6.3. The Alaska swarm continues as well but migrates closer to the subduction zone to the south. Indian Ocean cyclones fading and heading further south while the system east of Australia continues to creep towards Queensland. Keep that one in mind a moment. Across the sea, a moisture flow out of the Pacific is heading east to meet a low in the north. The moisture line continues across to get frozen by Arctic chill and then finally making it to the east. Snow on a line across the U.S. and Canada. In fact, every story on the front page of weather.com this morning was about cold and snow, including the rising death toll in the Midwest from this nightmare system. Over in Europe, the convergence is now very wide. Arctic blasts down across Finland while the southern convergence is cresting Spain and around up to near Moscow. Purple appears to be in relative agreement. Keeping in mind the storm heading towards Queensland, also note the convergence line in northwestern Australia which then wraps back up to the north. That's where the thunderstorm warnings appear tonight. We've got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.25 a.m. in the West. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.